Hey guys, Bony McBonerton here, and welcome to another horror game that we're going to be doing today called Fear... Fears to Fathom. Man, my eyesight fucking sucks. Anyways, I think this game's about the fears of being home alone, or at least that's what it said in the description, but I'm not entirely sure, so we'll just get into the game and see what happens. Uh, no window. Fantastic. Display one. Let's go. Made with Unity. Ah, there's the audio. An episodic horror. Oh, let's see what episodes we got. We got Home Alone, we've got question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. So, wait a minute. As we complete the first episode, will new ones be unlocked? Ooh, plot twist. Discord. Um. Is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You are playing episode one. More episodes are coming soon. Okay, I see. So we select Home Alone and it begins! Also, sorry if I sound a little out of breath. I just got back from the gym. July 12th. This year? I didn't want to put this up on Rare Edit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Oh, oh, sweetie. Half of all the shit on Reddit is fiction. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. Yeah, you know, I don't want to put it... Oh, I guess I'll start. Yeah, you know, don't put it on Reddit. That's not believable. You know what does sound more believable? Put it in a video game. It was the middle of summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip. Which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. While well, they were fucking each other silly in a hotel. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule is really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up at just about any time of the day. Though I did plan on fixing that. Ugh. Oh, what the fuck is that s Space to get up. I woke up around 8 after a nap that evening. Oh my god, this mouse sensitivity. Look. Oh wait, no, there we go. So there's no sprint button and everything's blurry as shit. But that's just how my eyesight normally is, I can't tell. Oh look, a car! Actual vehicles driving by and- Okay! Hands are right here. I have no idea why it's drifting to the right. Hold on, hold on. This might be my mouse. Um. No, my mouse cursor's not drifting. So that's a problem. Um. Hmm. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Okay, I get it. I will waddle to the fridge like the fucking sleepy goblin that I am. Hello? Three new messages. Escape to read messages. No need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Alright, thank you. Mmm, thank you, mommy. Don't ask me why, but I went straight into my parents' room. So I could lick the windows and the bed. Mmm, tastes like the elderly! <laughs> I hear a dog going nuts outside. So, depending on my choices, the story kind of narrates itself. And then I went downstairs. Why am I cr- Okay, I'm crouching to look out the window. Yeah, this isn't normal. I could have just pulled up the blinds or something, but no. What's this? I can sit on the couch. Can I turn? I cannot turn on the TV. A zero out of ten. 
Oh, what's this? For some reason, if you still don't believe that I'm not moving my mouse, look, I'm holding it right here, and it's still drifting. That, um, might be something you want to fix. Oh, this must be like game of, a Game of Thrones ripoff or something. Man, this shit got surround sound on everything. We can watch that later. Then I went outside, and I stuck my entire genitals into the pool. And then I decided to go splishy splashy splash, instead of adoring my basic biological functions while bouncing up and down at the patio. And then I wandered outside to go eat the neighborhood dogs while the owners watched in horror. Only to realize an evil mime had blocked me in my own yard. Meaning I was trapped. It was then I knew my only option was to ignore the chocolate cereal and go to the fridge for some little yummy lasagna! Food was cold! What the? That was... Oh, that's me! Okay! I was like, holy shit, my house is haunted. And then I stuffed the lasagna in the oven without opening the door. And then I looked outside to make sure the evil mime was not back to take my dong. Holy shit, this is a loud oven. My oven is not this loud. Throw? <laughs> Why, why would I throw the lasagna? That's such a weird- can I eat it instead? Ugh, fuck you lasagna. Liked watching TV while I ate. So that's what I did. I sat down, and without using a spoon or a fork, I just began to choke down that yummy lasagna while screaming- Oh my god, I'm supposed to actually eat it. <laughs> then I felt very sleepy, so I got up, and I tossed the fucking lasagna pan at the television. Unable to tell if I had broken something or someone was breaking in her and until someone texted me named Mason Oliver. We're going to have to call it off, man, but coming up. G to throw. Throw what? And then I began to hear footsteps in my house as I struggled to go up the stairs. Sorry, Miles, got to see you tomorrow. Is all that noise the TV, or is that someone really breaking in to pop my cherry? Okay, no, that's gotta be the television. Okay, yeah. Stop that. You're making me think someone's breaking into my house. About a game, about people breaking into my house. And what, what was that prompt? 
G to throw. And why does it take so long for me to get upstairs? Ugh, there we go. Then I shut my door, looked out the window to see if I could see the neighborhood child beating their dog, and then I went to bed. I remember I had homework to do first, though, so I waddled my ass over to my chair, sat down, and began to solve mathematic equations. Like, what does 2 plus 2 equal? I didn't know, but we're gonna find out! 12.38 a.m. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. As I stood up, I got two text messages from my mother. Don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. Fucker. What do you mean I can't send? Oh, this game sucks. Time to go to bed. To slither into my sheets. One sixteen a.m. I got up to get some water. And I didn't feel like licking it off the condensation of the windows. I decided to check my parents' bedroom just to be safe. It was dark and empty as ever. Just like their marriage. Is somebody there? I mean, is someone there? Yo, who left the TV on? What's with the creepy fucking music? The door's open. No, I know, that's just a window. Where's the glass around here? Was I supposed to go to the bathroom for it instead? Oh, no, no, I just... Oh. oh. It was at that moment that I knew that I had the chug jug. And I was going to drink. Until my bladder was going to fucking explode. <laughs> Ugh, refreshing. Time to go back to bed. With this empty bottle. Even though I was satisfied, I was still tempted to chug with all my might. <laughs> then I decided to stop doing this voice, because it was hurting the fuck out of my throat. Until mom sent me a new. Then I knew what my plan was. I was gonna keep drinking water until I knew that if I. Until knowing that if I had enough water in my system, I I could piss. I tried peeking through the blinds, he looked straight at me. I felt my heart skip a beat. But lock every door and hide in your room. Okay, I'm don't answer the door. Well no duh.
Oh, I guess this door's not locked. No, I'm not gonna lock that. I'm just gonna. I like the plan where I piss with the force of a. I looked back there and he was gone. I still like the plan where I'm gonna like piss with the force of a power washer into his face, effectively removing all the layers of skin off his eyeballs. Hold on, I gotta close my door first. Hold on, there was a button that said click, click to hide. Quit under, okay, hide and hide, hide in the covers. Oh no, I'm under my bed. Oh god. He's here for my Magic the Gathering cards. Wait, wait, so you broke a window and then rang the doorbell. What the fuck? Oh, uh, he's probably just going to apologize for breaking my... Breaking my window. Nobody home! It's Paula at the door. I don't believe you! If it was Paula, why did she break a... Oh no, it's space, okay. Yes, I'm coming to the door. Let me just finish drinking up all this yummy, yummy water. Oh my god! Ugh. Why did the old man sound like a dinosaur? Oh my god, was that a bad ending? Oh, I think that was a- Oh my god, I have to do that shit all over again. Ah, uh, alright. Speed run time, let's go. Okay, this is the part where we gotta run. God damn it. Well, good to see I'm the slowest motherfucker on the planet. Hold on, I'm gonna look this up and see if there's actual endings. Yes! 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 Really? That's how? I mean, man, first of all, shout out to you, Drew. Give me a like. Man, that's what I should have done. I should have just fucking waited. Like an actual smart person.
Ah, gotta speed around this shit again! Yay! Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Come on out, kid! I've got free candy! Well, I mean, now that you say free candy, I've definitely got to come out of the room now. It's Paula at the door. So apparently here's how he beat the game, you... Apparently I'm supposed to wait out here or something? Call the cops! Please! Call the police, I don't want to get mo- I don't want to get diddled by this guy a third time. No, fuck that, I'm seeing my room. Ooh. can have that bottle. Paula, call the fucking cops! God damn you! No. No. Oh my god, for a second I thought the door shut behind me. No, I'm not doing that. I can clearly see a shadow out there. Apparently what we gotta do is we gotta wait until the cops come or something like that. I think that's what we do. Let me double check. Oh my god, the game's still going on in the background. That is annoying. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. There they are! Took you guys- I mean, I shouldn't be rude about that, but thank god they're finally here. Quick, get up here and shoot this old man in the dick! Shoot him in the dick! Shoot his dick clean off! Oh, he's locked. He locked. Idiot locked himself in my parents' bedroom. What a fucking clown. Oh! Hey, Miss Pauling. <laughs> please excuse what I said about your ovaries. Please. That was. That was merely the fear talking. The fear of getting diddled, diddled again. Oh. And it just ends right there. Alright, cool. 
Well, this has been Boney McBonerton here with Fears of Fathom. Or is it Fears to Fathom? I'm not sure. Let me look. Yeah, Fears to Fathom. All right. Well, hopefully in the future they do actually continue on with this game and we can see what other fascinating stories from Reddit that they get. As for now, have a good day now and goodbye.